Show no mercy. That's what we're after? Never surrender. Perhaps there's a bounty on Sorcerer Supremes? Is it done anyway we know how? Impressive. Interesting tactic. chances, but stranger things have happened.
something isn't right. Just a scratch. Without the suit. Hey, watch the paint job. Bring 
as many as you like. It won't make a difference. Hydra manages to attract new recruits to fight Succeed, right? Uh, hit my head or something. I like our chances.
himself all of a sudden. Occasionally. aid me in my fight. It seems I have only one left. Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. I'm 
skeptical of your chances, but things have happened. Stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Let's do it. Fail, Smydra. This shouldn't take long. I gotta say, the whole Hail Hydra thing is pretty stale. Got any new material? Occasionally. You'll need even greater numbers to defeat me.
meet you off, Rendo. Emo kids are meeting tonight. You in? Lead the way. We shall soon see if this meeting amounts to anything. What do you mean? Miss Minoru can explain. Feels like we're getting closer to figuring out how you died. It's not too much, is it? During the ritual, it is like I am two people pulled in opposite directions. Hmm. Well, if it's too much, you say the word and we'll call it off, okay? Okay. Ileana wants to lead the ritual this time. <laughs> that surprised me. Why? Magic taking the lead and caretaker staying out of her way? Uh, the world must be ending. Oh, right. It is. I believe I know Ileana's plans for the ritual. How? I overheard her speaking with Strange. I appreciate you telling me. Telling you this time, you mean? That's fair. Perhaps I've kept you in the dark more often than I should. Ileana's approach is reckless and could cause you lasting harm. What you do with that knowledge is up to you. The ritual today will be unlike before. How so? We shall make real progress. I refuse to coddle you as the others did. I will push you beyond your limits. For this to work, I must break you. According to Sarah, this could do me lasting harm. Sarah thinks she knows everything. Without preparation, she would be correct. This is why you collected the ingredients I asked you to bring. You did collect them, yes? Well... no. Hmm. This complicates matters. Without ingredients, the ritual will be painful. No more than sparring in the yard. There is no danger to you or your soul. But it will sting. Now, are you ready? Can you tell me more about what you are planning? Do you truly care? Just about the results. Good. Ready? You may proceed. Limbo never forgets. It holds the echo of your death. What is your last memory? Lilith. A muddy circle in a clearing. Then I shall bring that echo to you. Now you become its vessel. I am ready. My head, it, it is, it is her, it is Lilith, in the circle. Do not fight the echo, allow it to wash through you. No, I, she sees me. I advance, prepared to strike. She just watches me. Whoa, is that? It is. My child, look what they've done to you. You have no right to call me child, monster. So, misguided. I have never sought to harm you. Your army says otherwise. A distraction to allow for this moment. Ileana, stop this! Right now! Enough deceit. 
Speak plainly or suffer the consequences. Eliana! No, we must proceed. How plain can I make this, my child? <clears throat> if I am to remake this world, I need you at my side. Enough! Dilungo! Regina Pula! No! You have no right to do that. Stopping your recklessness is my obligation. <sighs> Stopping the ritual early could have destroyed the hunter's mind. The only threat to Hunter was your sloppy technique. You are impossible! You will never attempt this again. Do not constrain me. Just gonna stand here and hope they don't involve me. Yup. Mm -hmm. Um, how you doing, Hunter? You would have had the answer if Caretaker had not stopped us. I'm not taking sides, but it looked like you were in actual pain. I get why she wanted Ileana to stop. As long as you're okay, I'm okay. The good news? We are definitely closing in. That's more than enough for today. You ready to leave? In a minute. Let me know when you're heading out. Miss Rasputin was correct. Feels odd on the tongue, like a fish-flavored loofah. You approve of her approach? Of course not. But she was right to push. No matter what Sarah thinks, today was a breakthrough. Well... You have that look on your face. Say what you need to say. You should not have stopped the ritual. We were so close. Oh, kiddo. I had no choice. Lilith's voice, spoken through you, even as an echo, creates a mystical link. She has the means to follow that link back to you. Trust me, I can handle that. I don't think I could handle that. Still, with preparation, I can shield you from such an attack. And without? She would do to you what she did to Wanda, and I won't let that happen. Of course her obligation is to interfere. It's what she does best. Another meeting completed. You heading out? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. Nice shirt. Cool symbol. Good to see you. Hello, Hunter. Are you worried about what is happening to the Sanctum? I try to keep those thoughts roped away from my own sanity. I am deathly afraid of what Lilith is doing in there. I don't think she hijacked my home just so she could rifle through my sock drawers. I should take my leave. There is much to do. Yes, yes there is. Just don't push yourself too hard. You are, after all, still part human.
How's my favorite hunter? One thing you and I have in common, Hunter. We both know death ain't a career ender. I mean, you've straight up resurrected.
Here to gloat, Mother? Quite the opposite. I was concerned. I could not sense you after... Your pet monster nearly destroyed me. An unintended and unforeseen consequence of your continued assault against me. The mystical energies within our blood do not always mix well with off-worlders. But neither do the wards of your pretentious sorcerer. The Venom creature is a calculated but necessary risk. Alien monstrosities, Wanda's unchecked powers, coupled with Banner's unhinged mind. Whatever you are planning, Mother, I fear it may be beyond even your control. Your concern touches me, but I would risk the heavens themselves if it meant saving you. I do not need saving. Oh, but you do. And that crack in your collar is the first step. Every revolution of self starts with the tiniest of rifts. An ever-so-slight splinter in the glass. A hanging thread begging to be pulled until it unravels all. You should be celebrating. That crack is the beginning of your emancipation from my sister's control. She keeps you collared because she fears you. They all do. Sarah wants to hold you back from realizing your full potential. The way she tried to hold me back centuries ago. I would not need this collar had I not been corrupted by your blood. Is that what you believe? Oh, child. There is so much you must learn. But you would never believe me if I told you. Not here. Not now. You must discover those answers on your own. Once you're unshackled, you will finally be free to be yourself. And who is that? Answer me! Hunter, we have finished the symbiote sampling device. Come to the forge to have a look. Peter, what's wrong? Stark and Strange are deciding what to do about Eddie. You think they'd ask, you know, the only guy who gets what Eddie's going through? That sucks, dude. You okay? I'm fine. It's Eddie I'm worried about, as well as the rest of you. I guess I'm not qualified to handle this because I'm not an Avenger. Men that powerful think they have all the answers. Well, they're making a big mistake leaving the Venom expert out of their plan to stop Venom. I know how to get through to him, and how to keep him from hurting anyone. I'd never forgive myself if that happened. You tell him, Peter. Maybe I will. Hey, boss. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. What's up, Sunshine? Oh, you are gonna love this. Here you are, Hunter. One symbiote sampler. Hot off the old demonic presses. That is not what I expected. Yes, I for one am not going anywhere near that thing. You're a doctor. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little needle. That is most certainly not 
a needle. Well, you say tomato, I say one gamma-infused arc-powered laser tomato. Either way, we're good to go. Now we just have to get close enough to Venom to use it. And I suppose you have a plan for that, too? Actually, I don't. Been too busy wrangling our friendly Forge Demon while ignoring Strange's advice in order to build a one-of-a-kind gamma-powered symbiote extractor that burns hot enough to pierce the sun. But basically, we just need to stick the pointy end in him and let the device do the rest. Once we jab that thing, the symbiote will be extracted and stored within the chamber. The fluid inside should maintain the sample's molecular integrity indefinitely. I, uh, based it on the saliva he left on you during that last round. I see. And does Spider-Man, Peter, think it will actually work? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've kind of been keeping him out of the loop on this one. Look, Peter's a great kid. With a big heart. He looks at Venom, and he doesn't see the same mucus monster we do. All he sees is Eddie Brock. From what he's told me, the two of them weren't exactly best friends before the symbiote got thrown into the mix. But that doesn't matter to Peter. It's not gonna be easy to get that sample. We'll have to get real close. I know Peter would give anything, including his own life, to save Eddie. Guess I just don't want to see him distracted when the time comes. Look what happened to me with Bruce. Venom is not Banner, Tony. And Peter is not you. Well, that's the point. I... I look at Peter and I see... Well, maybe the person I could have been if I didn't let money, fame, and my dad's war profiteering get the best of me. Maybe I just want to keep the kid... a kid... for as long as possible. Tony... End of the day, we gotta find Venom first before any of this matters. Given his symbiote is happily sliming its way across the five burrows, it's gonna be hard getting any kind of reading on him with conventional means, as in the non-demonically possessed kind. Thankfully, there's always Auntie Caretaker and her magic mirror. I'd check in with her. Talk to you soon, Hunter. I see Tony showed you his new toy. He did. He is so in love with his toys. I don't suppose he's given much thought as to who should get close enough to Venom to use it? If anyone understands Venom, it is Peter. He might be a good candidate for this mission. The ability to put ourselves in our enemy's shoes can tell us where they have been and where they are going. Peter. Interesting. His innate humanity and unwavering empathy for Eddie Brock's plight could make him an ideal candidate. This won't be figured out right now, but we should decide something soon. Time is of the essence. But I suppose you know that better than anyone. We will talk again soon. How are you, Peter? You tell me, Hunter. I'm out of the loop on everything. They're off discussing what to do about Venom, and no one has said a word to me about it. I apologize if you were left out of the loop on this, Peter. If it is any consolation, I do not think it was meant to be malicious. Everyone's as freaked out as I am. They just bury it way down deep and then walk around like they've got something stuck in their armor. There is no one better suited for a mission against Venom than you. I know. I should be doing something. Because right now I feel kind of useless. Maybe I'll use the forge to bake a loaf of sourdough. Really get in Stark's way until he notices me. If you want Stark to pay attention to you, there are better ways to make your point than making bread. Well, I was kidding about that, but if you have suggestions... Just walk up to him and suggest a way to help. Okay, okay, you've made your point. Ah, <sighs> fine. Maybe I'll speak up. Excellent. Just give me a bit. I'm a little rusty. The Sinister Six caused me to miss out on my speech class final. <laughs> 